Hello, I'm Kate and welcome along to this video. I hope you're okay and sending lots of love to you. So welcome to this Poundland haul. It's a big Poundland haul. I've got some amazing things to show you. And before I get into the haul and show you everything that I picked up recently, I've got to do my mug of the day and it is this gorgeous Poundland mug. So I got this probably, I think it was about a month ago and I got two of these because I just thought they were so cute and they were only like £1.50 or £1.25 just really really lovely and such a nice shape really nice to use and so cute so I got two of these and I also bought a white one with some daisies on and I bought some other ones so I did buy quite a few mugs at my last Poundland haul I bought a cup of tea because I just needed uh, I needed a nice cup of tea because mostly I drink coffee, but then, you know, sometimes you just need a tea. I just I needed a tea because sometimes it gives you a little hug, if you know what I mean. So I had a nice comforting tea in my mug of the day. And you probably know by now, but Poundland have relaunched their kind of homeware and it's now called Pepco. So they've got a new look to a lot of their homeware and different things that they sell. The new labels, the new pricing is so clear. I really like it. It looks really, it's just easy, isn't it? Easy to see, easy to read and work out how much everything is and everything is such good value as well so really impressed with Poundland and the new Pepco range it's brilliant I found so much the other day so I was invited by Poundland to come and choose some things so thank you very much for inviting me and I spent a lovely I think I was there for nearly two hours so I had a good route around been great Yarmouth in the big Poundland there and I'm going to show you everything that I picked up so I may as well start off with this then because it's here and you've seen it so I actually got three of these vases I thought they were beautiful I'll just take this off they were £1.25 each as you can see there ceramic vase entry it's called and it's 8 by 8 by 9.5 so cute so you can put lots of little flowers in here make a little um a little posy I do love a bud vase and I love the colour this green is just beautiful and I love three of things so I, I got three and at £1.25 each that is it's so good and they look quite vintagey I think as well so if you saw these in a posh shop I'd be um I'd be very impressed I just I love them it's funny how something so simple can just be really lovely so yeah gorgeous I love the green and with those little flowers in even little ones you know little ones you pick from your garden and hopefully I'll grow some sweet peas I kept going on about them in last week's video because they'd be perfect for these vases so hopefully in a month or two how long my sweet peas take um I'll get some and put them in here and sticking with the garden theme I picked up this watering can because I've started to make the greenhouse, uh, the summer house more of a greenhouse. So I've been planting seeds and they've, they've, they've started to, I've got little shoots, which is really exciting. Um, so I thought I'd get one of these um, watering cans because it's nice having a small watering can because I've got some really large ones and they're very heavy and I tend to overwater. So I just want a little sprinkling of water. So I picked up this um, plastic watering can. It's got a little, what's that? A four leaf clover on it or something, a little leafy thing. And this was two pounds, as you can see there. So two pounds for that watering can, which would be very handy. And I saw these and thought I'd give, give them a go as well. So some sweet pea seeds, climbing sweet peas, complete seed starter kit. They were only a pound, so I need to be quick. Um, I actually bought two of them. I've started one, I've started one lot. So I shall put these out there um, this afternoon and hopefully I'll get some lovely sweet peas. I've told you I was obsessed with them last week, so I've got even more. Um, so these have seeds, a propagator with lid and soil. So everything is in there that you need. And hopefully I'll get an abundance of sweet peas, hopefully. And I used my, I bought some bamboo canes in my car boot cell hall last week. So I've set them all up and everything's growing. I'll do a little vlog actually of everything I've got going on in the greenhouse because it's quite interesting. I'm just waiting for things to pop up a bit, but yeah, it's really fun. Um, so that's my sweet pea seeds, the little watering can. And then this is gorgeous as well. So I saw this and thought, oh, I like that. And I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for because it could be for anything really. So it's a little leaf dish, Pepco Home Decorative. Oh, it's called a tray. So I called you a dish, but you're a tray. Um, so you could use this for anything really. I kind of thought like, I don't know, either candles, candles or you could, you could put in there your cooking spoon if you do some stirring and then I thought maybe some fruit grapes grapes that look very posh on there or you could put your 
things, your keys in there or something. I don't know, what would you use this for? Or would you just have it on display? I do like a little um, a little tray. I've got one up here, actually. And sometimes I put something in it. It's pretty, isn't it? I, do, I love things like this. Um, so yeah, very cute. That just stays up there, actually. And sometimes I put things on it, but um, it's just quite nice. So what would you do with this lovely little tray? Just thought it was, um, yeah, just lovely. Again, be perfect for like peanuts or snacks or maybe a little salad or something. I don't know, but I had to get that because I really liked it. So a little tray and that was, oh, I told you the price of mine, three pounds. And I also picked up this vase, this pretty flower vase. And I saw this on you and Mr. Carrington on, on his, um, he did a Poundland haul and he had a green one. And I love the green one, but I couldn't find it. So I had to go for the lilac one. But I do love lilac. I love lilac and pinks and greens, all these sort of pastels. So I got this one and yeah, so it's just got a little hole here for your flowers. And it's the Canley Spring Collection. And it was, so it just says on the bottom here, ceramic vase, Candy Spring. How much were you? I think it was, hang on, I'm just opening up my little sticker here. You were three pounds. So three pounds for this gorgeous, Bars, but it's just so pretty it's kind of like 3d um that's just so lovely isn't it so do you think they had some other colors i think maybe is there a pink a green and a, and a lilac i'm not sure but this is the only one i can find so hopefully next time i go i can get the green one so i think that's probably my favorite and i saw this and thought it was so cute it's a plant pot and it's got a little um bottom part you've got a bottom um, so it just sits in here. That'd be nice on a window ledge, actually. So maybe you might even be better off in my um, kitchen window with something in. So, yeah, it's just lovely. I love the scalloped bit on top. It's ceramic. It looks like it'd be really expensive. And it was only, it's a really good price, actually. It was only £4, which is so good, isn't it? So what would you put in here? Let me know in the comments and it's called, just so you know, Ceramic Plant Pot with Plate Romantic Frill. Oh, I love a romantic frill. So there we go, £4 for the plant pot. I got two of those. It's a really good size as well and just looks, um, I love the glaze. It's sort of bright white and lovely. So a gorgeous plant pot that I shall put down there. And I mentioned the greenhouse. Um, I've got some tables in there and I, um, I needed some trays so some plastic trays so that the water doesn't rot the wood so I got three of these trays so I can line them up along my table and I think these were around there's no price on them um so I think they're like one pound or one pound fifty and those trays will be perfect for these so these are peat pots it's called a peat pot set so I can put obviously some compost in here some seeds and then place them on the trays so if there's any sort of spills or leakages from these it'll just go on the um trays rather than the um the wood below on my tables so these are one pound 25 and they are oh, having in here 30 so i have some taller ones of these they're they're like these but a bit thinner and a bit taller and they seem really good and apparently the ones i don't know if it's these ones as well but i can put those ones straight into the ground they're fiber pots and then apparently gives the plants a good start or a as, I don't know, it helps the plant grow. So I'm not sure if you know if these are the same, would these go straight into the ground as well and help the plant grow? Or are they just to, you know, to start the seed and get it on its way to its next pot? So if you know, let me know. But hopefully it's the same thing. I'm not sure though, maybe it's not. But either way, I can grow some little seeds in here. And um, it's just so fun. Some of the seeds that I I put I put them in the pots. And some of them have come up and some of them I had a little sachet and some of them just like like dust and they just went everywhere. But there's things there's things growing, which is good. So I got some of these and yeah, they were £1.25 each. So perfect for my little trays. I'll just load them up on here. And then I've also got some, have I got any else? Any other garden bits? Just a couple actually. So I'll just show you these. And I got some jute string. So this is 200 metres. It was a pound. So I'll just put that straight in there and um, straight into the little summer house and I'll be using this to tie up the sweet peas and, and different things. So some jute string. And I also got some cable ties as well. So to tie the plants um, to make them a bit stronger. There's three different sizes in here. So I think they were a pound as well. And then just some garden sacks from Poundland as well. So these are 50 litres 
eight garden sacks and they were a pound too. And I got some of these as well, so some ice blocks. There's two in here, so they're quite nice, um, quite nice and chunky actually, but still slim enough um, to go in the little sandwich box. I made some sandwiches the other day um, where we went to watch Toby play football and I just needed an extra one of these, so I thought, well, it's good to have them in the freezer and then yeah we can use them because they just keep things cool i think they're brilliant like the slimmer ones because they're quite light as well but they do their job and then i also picked up some tupperware boxes to you know to put sandwiches in and different things little picnics um well food for picnics i mean and there's three in here i like the color it's a really good size as well so perfect for pasta or some rolls or sandwiches anything really um, and they were two pounds fifty for the three as you can see there and um it says they're 1.45 liters 83p each so i just needed some good um good like tupperware boxes are they still called tupperware boxes fresh boxes <laughs> they call a fresh box they will be perfect when i make us some little lunches and put my ice blocks in there as well i saw these tea towels and i just thought they were so pretty they had a few different ones and I just think they are absolutely gorgeous. They're kind of, I'd probably have wallpaper in this pattern. I love it. Or you can make a really nice um, cushion. But how lovely all the greens and all the florals. So these were £2.50 for this set of three tea towels. Oh, sorry, I was getting a bit nearer to you. Pepco Home three pack tea towel, 45 times 65 centimetres, 83p each. So pretty. Isn't that just lovely? And I needed some new tea towels as well. This one is really nice. So it's just green with the little flower on. I can't remember, is that called Queen Anne or something? Or has that got a different name? Can't remember. If you know what that's called, then let me know in the comments. And then just a plain sort of green waffly one. So £2.50 for the three. And then the other ones are a set of, we'll put those down there. These are a set of two actually. So pack of two tea towels they were £2.50 um, for the two so £1.25 each again really pretty lovely pattern with the flowers and the greens and the pinks and blues little yellow ones as well and then just a plain green tea towel with this little frill on the bottom but they feel like really good quality so £2.50 for those and I got um, this set as well and that's got a yellow one at the back so really lovely and if you're crafty you can make a really pretty cushion couldn't you for the front and the back really nice nice material they feel really good quality so lovely tea towels i won't be running out of them anytime soon i picked up a few things from the travel section in poundland so i got this travel adapter and i think this is a pound or one pound fifty and it just says the Holiday Shop EU Travel Adapter. So I got that. And I thought this looked really good as well. So this is a travel wash bag. So it's kind of like a travel organiser. It was £6. And I really like the look of it because you can take it on your holiday. So put everything in it and then hang it up here. Oh, just open this section. Hang it up on the back of the door in the bathroom. So you've got a section in here to put everything in and then... I think there's a bit in there's another zip in the middle and then then at the top here and a section there's quite a few different sections that you can use and there's bits down the side as well and some elastic here so lots of different compartments lots of different sections there's one here there's some down the corner so you can put your shampoo and conditioner there's like a bigger bottle compartment either side and then yeah you've got sections to hide things behind here and this bit here there's a zip in the middle to hide things not hide things put things um in there like little creams or something or makeup and then this one at the top as well um so it's kind of this clear plastic and then on the back i think there's another yeah there's a bit here to slide some things in too so i'm actually going to be going away i've got a very exciting little um adventure I'm going to be going away with you and for a few days so the vlog will be here next week i can't wait it's really exciting so i shall tell you more very soon um so i shall i'll, I'll use this i think i'll pack this and yeah store all my things in here for when i go away but i really like that i think it's perfect for traveling and great so you can just hang it up on the back of the door um so that was six pounds for that little travel um wash bag and then i also got these as well to use so these are petco travel organizer bags set of three 
and they were two pounds for the three. So it's three different um, sections. So I can put pants and socks and PJs and things in here, uh, which will be handy. So yeah, people. I know people sometimes put outfits in these bags, don't they? They get all their outfits ready in different bags, but I just thought, well, I'll put all the things together that I need in these. So maybe some pajamas in the first one and then squash it down a bit and then pants and socks. I don't know if I'm gonna be using many socks. Oh, I don't know, but anyway, I shall use these. I'll pack my case. I'm just taking a little case, so I shall use them. And then look how lovely this is. As soon as I saw this, I put it straight in my basket. It's got a lovely wooden frame and then this bit to hang it up. So this is kind of like leather. I really like the style of it. So this just peels off, um, so that will come off. And then on the back, it just says, Petco Home Photo Frame 17 times 22. And that was only three pounds, which is such a bargain. I think that is, um, I think that's lovely. So a really nice picture. And then I also picked up some tea lights. I got a hundred tea lights. I already had pink ones left and I needed some white ones. Um, so I got these and they were four pounds for a hundred. So some tea lights as well. And is this my final? Oh no, it's not my final thing. Nearly. I've got three things left to show you, but I picked up these, um, or oh, this cutlery set. This gold cutlery set looks really nice and looks very posh to me. I think it's lovely. So Petco Home selected cutlery set. There's four, um, four forks, four knives, four spoons and four teaspoons. And they were £12, so a really good price as well for that cutlery. And my last couple of things, I bought one of these touch lamps. I think Ewan got this as well in his Poundland haul. So this was £6 and I got one a bit like this, but you had to just charge it. And then if you moved it, it lost its charge really quickly. So hopefully this will, um, this takes batteries. So it should hopefully keep its charge a bit longer because the other one was running out kind of after a couple of hours. So this is called Petco Home LED Shape Touch Switch and Change Colour. So it's £6. I just need some batteries. There's a little um, book here to show me how to use it and which batteries to use. But that would be really pretty. Hopefully I have a nice like warm glow. I do love a warm glow. Um, and it's quite nice, like sort of diamante y doesn't it? So a little touch lamp. I do love having these sort of dotted about, but like I said, the other ones um, don't last very long unless they're plugged in. So hopefully with some batteries that'll look really nice and just create a nice ambiance in my home. Did I say that word earlier? No, I said abundance, didn't I? Abundance and ambiance. Right, I'm on to my final um, item in this Poundland haul. It's a big item. It is this big plant holder. So I saw this near the end of my shop, actually. I thought, I really like that because I've bought some um, really nice indoor plants. So I want to put them in here. Not all of them, but one of them. It's lined on the inside here. And actually, the wood is ready to be painted. It's quite nice as it is. But if you wanted a certain colour, obviously, you can just paint it. It feels ready to be painted. But it looks lovely um, like this, doesn't it? It's nice. I do love I do love a bit of plain wood and it's got a metal like a metal frame it's really sturdy really well made and that was petco home and it was 10 pounds plant stand metal wood and it's quite light as you can see i've got it above my head with one arm like i'm i'm really strong and I think that is everything. That is my entire Poundland haul. So I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give the video a like and subscribe as well if you haven't already done so. And let me know your favourite item in this haul. What did you like the most? There's actually so much, isn't there? There's so much to choose from. I think it might be the plant pot for me. The plant pot maybe. Oh, I do love these. I love these and this is so cute. So there's lots of lovely things. Maybe that white plant pot. Oh, I love the picture as well. There's lots to choose from. So if you do have one, a favourite one, add it to the comments below. And if you're on Instagram as well, come and say hello on there. Oh, behave down there. Come and say hello on Instagram. I'm Kate McCabe on Instagram and I've got a house account as well called Kate's Georgian Home, which I shall link below in case you want to um, come and say hello on there. And I'll also link last week's video. So it was a car boot sale haul and I got lots of plants. So if you want to see all the lovely plants, I filmed it in my outdoor kitchen area and uh, did a little hanging basket and made up a hanging basket as well, which is doing really, um, which is doing well. It's kind of growing. It's really pretty. I made up another one with things I already had. It's not quite as pretty, but I'm, I need to go back to that car boot sale and, and get some similar things, I think, because I do like the hanging baskets to be matching. I've got two on the left hand side. Um, I it doesn't really matter, but I really like that one with the lilacs and the blues. 
not blues, lilacs and um, the greens and the purples, they just go so nicely together. So yeah, I'll link that video in case you want to see what I found at the car boot sale. And then I had some um, holiday vlogs as well. So we went to Singapore and Thailand. So I'll link those vlogs down in the description box, just in case you haven't watched them and you fancy catching up. But I'm going to go now. I've got to pack, get ready for, for my little adventure with Ewan. And that'll be next week's video. But have a great weekend and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.